Got snow? Consumer Reports home expert Eric Hato has a few tips to make clearing it a little easier. If you have a snowblower, Eric says speed matters. Why? Too slow, you won't get much distance with your arc. Too fast, the snow could spill out the side of your machine. Play around until you find the optimal speed. Clearing techniques can vary based on how your property is laid out. Here's the best way for driveways that have clearance on both sides. For snowblowers that don't throw snow across your whole driveway, start in the middle and throw the snow towards one edge of the driveway. Make a U-turn, come back to the other side, and keep alternating. You won't have to adjust the chute as often. Any snow that falls short will be cleared on subsequent passes, and you likely won't need a second pass. If your house is next to your driveway, start on the side closest to the house. That way you never throw snow onto cleared pavement. Shoveling? You've got two choices. Shovel every few inches, or at the end of the storm, shovel in layers. Take only as much snow as you're comfortable lifting. Eric also recommends clearing your driveway in two stages. First, push the snow to the edges with a shovel like this. Then use a shovel like this to throw what's left out of the way. Pick the right shovel for the job. This type of shovel is versatile enough for throwing, lifting, and pushing. If you have uneven pavement, an all-plastic shovel without a steel edge like this one is less likely to catch. And don't forget, avoid driving or walking on the snow before you clear it. Packed snow is harder to clear. To keep wet snow from sticking to a shovel or a snowblower chute, spray it with silicone, or in a pinch, a baking spray. For help on finding the best shovel, check out Consumer Reports' website.